Number 15, The Woman in the Ceiling. In 2009, an actor by the name of Joe Cummings uploaded a video to YouTube that gave at least 10 million people chills. While Cummings is an actor, he has made many claims that everything in this video is true and was not set up in any way. Cummings had been hearing strange noises at night for several weeks and a lot of his food was coming up missing. Cummings originally put the camera up to catch his girlfriend sleepwalking or simply lying to him about rummaging about his apartment at night. The camera was set up in his kitchen and kept on all night and what he found the next day was truly nightmare inducing. In the video uploaded by Cummings, it starts off with the homeless woman dropping down from some type of vent or cubby near the ceiling. That alone would be enough to scare anyone, her thin legs dropping from the upper right corner of the screen. However, things start to get terrifying in a more realistic way. The woman starts eating food and even pees in the sink. At one point during the night, Cummings gets up to get a drink and the woman darts behind a couch or chair to better hide herself. Once Cummings heads back to bed, she continues her routine before hopping back up into the cubby. Perhaps even more chilling is the few seconds of footage at the end of the video where Cummings wakes up the next morning for breakfast and to take down the camera. Completely unaware of the woman as he lived his daily life, Cummings claimed that as soon as he saw the footage, he left his apartment and called the police who removed her. She had set herself up a small living area in the cubby, which was actually a small loft intended for storage. While there are many claims out there that the video is faked, it's still very unsettling to think of the possibility of someone living in your home without your knowledge. Number 14. Screaming Spirit in 2003, many guests staying at the Wingate Hotel began calling into the front desk and complained that there were screams coming from a certain room, room 209 to be exact. Apparently, no one was booked in that room, so a security worker was sent to see if maybe someone had broken in. The security footage catches the security worker approaching the door, and a woman screaming can be clearly heard. He knocks on the door several times, but there is no answer. The security manager tells this worker, John, to wait for the police to arrive. However, the worker enters the room anyway. After he opens the door, the screaming comes to a complete halt. Once he enters the room, a white ghostly apparition can be seen moving from the doorway and then disappearing. John reports to the security manager that no one is in the room, but the furniture has been flipped and the carpet ripped up. John urges for the police to be called. Even the manager claims to be scared before the footage ends. Man, that's, that's scary. I'm uh, officially freaked out now. <laughs> there is no history with this hotel, or even particular room being haunted before this. Number 13. Alien Abduction a paranormal investigation TV series from the late 90s known as Paranormal Borderlines featured a story about an alleged alien abduction caught on surveillance camera. The footage was sent in with a letter that provided a brief explanation of the footage. The footage includes four black and white blocks of video. In the top right square of footage, there is a worker who exits a gate of some sort. In a flash of light and a camera glitch, he disappears. The tapes continue to run normally, with no sign of the employee for more than two hours. Around 1 a.m., the tape exhibits the same behavior as before and the employee is returned outside the gate lying in the fetal position. He pukes, stands up appearing dazed, confused, and imbalanced before he walks out of the shot. The letter claims that this employee didn't remember anything about this event, or even his alleged alien encounter, but after the incident, the employee did quit his job and move far away, never to be heard from thereafter. The episode of Paranormal Borderline also brought in professionals to examine the tape's authenticity. While the pros do claim that this could be the result of someone taking advantage of common camera malfunctions, those glitches are not faked. Number 12. Violent Spirit The happenings in this video are pretty self-explanatory. The original video was uploaded in 2013 and it features a man walking down a hallway of an unidentified building. As he is walking, a dark figure appears in front of him, in the camera's view. The man falls to the ground and is drugged, seemingly by the spirit, towards the end of the hallway for at least two or three meters before he is let go and runs in the opposite direction. He seems fairly confused and certainly terrified. Of course, there's a vast group of skeptics that claim this to be fake. However, many have made the argument that the way his feet move as he is drugged 
would make it impossible for him to be pushing himself. It's a pretty chilling thought to imagine yourself walking down a hall, minding your own business, before being pulled to the ground and drugged forward by an immensely strong force. Consider that fact that you probably cannot see the source of your attack, and it makes for a very traumatic experience. Number 11. The Tutorial Ghost in October 2010, a man was recording a tutorial for his illustration class. He was in his kitchen as to have more counter space available. As he explained the different materials he was using, in the background you can see a cabinet door slowly open, without a sound. By this point in the video, you're not even paying attention to the tutorial as you're completely focused on the cabinet door and what may happen next. The small door slams shut and the YouTuber, Ben Ivy 2 is startled. He turns back to check out the scene, possibly thinking there is some kind of vermin in the cabinets. Once he realizes there's nothing in there, he runs to the camera to inspect what just happened. This is the type of casual ghost activity that probably happens to us in everyday life that we don't even notice. Number 10. Baby Watcher on October 5th, 2014, a very strange thing occurred during a burglary in Houston, Texas. A man broke into a couple's home to rob them, however, he got distracted. Surveillance footage from inside the home showed the burglar going into the nursery and watching the baby sleep. He did not just casually check to see if the infant was still asleep, he literally stood in place for several moments and watched. He left the child unharmed, fortunately, but nothing can change the minds of the parents who were left completely disturbed by a man silently breaking into their home and watching their baby. The man stole $60 worth of cash and also took a laptop. He later dropped the laptop in the neighbor's yard, though, so this whole ordeal seemed kind of pointless. In fact, the only thing anyone got out of this was the couple probably learned a valuable lesson about protecting their family and more than likely invested in a better security system. Number 9. Guy Catches a Creeper The following story was submitted to Reddit by user CoolV. In 2008, CoolV purchased an AV transmitter and receiver in an attempt to get cable in his bedroom without having to pay extra to his company. He started the process of setting the box up but was having no luck. Eventually though, a signal started to come through. A very grimy and fuzzy scene of a bedroom appeared on his TV. He soon realized that the AV box wasn't even on yet, so he was confused about the signal but continued to watch. Kulvi told his family about the bedroom scene on the TV. They all concluded the AV box was picking up signal from a camera set up nearby, possibly at a neighbor's house. The family kept an eye on the happenings until someone finally entered the room at 6pm that night. It was their neighbor, and they all joked that the camera was probably set up for sexual reasons, or to catch the other cheating. However, things got weird as time went on. The family only randomly tuned in to watch the camera to see if it was still set up. They found out the neighbors were having renovations done and assumed maybe the camera had to do with the team working in their home every day while they were out. One day when watching the men work, however, a plumber began sifting through the bedroom's drawers, underwear drawers and things like that. He stood up and approached the camera, adjusted some things, then put it back in its place. It was clear that this plumber was the one who set the camera up. Coolvie's dad went to their neighbor's home that night and showed them the camera. He discovered that the creepy plumber had set it up behind a device used to monitor water usage. The couple reported it to the police immediately. It came to light that the man had been coming to their street at night parking outside of the house and watching the stream on his laptop of the neighbors sleeping or possibly being more intimate. Coolvie explained that he would often walk past the car but didn't think much of it. Number 8. Brutal Officer Shooting In January 1998, Andrew Brannon was speeding down the road at about 100 miles per hour when he was pulled over by Officer Kyle Dinkheller. As soon as he was stopped, Brannon rushed towards Dinkheller in an aggressive stance, and Dinkheller was forced to pull his gun. He also shouted, I am in fear for my life. Likely in an attempt to warn Brannon he may have to shoot. Brannon and Dinkheller got into a heated argument of some sort before Brannon rushed into his truck to retrieve a rifle. He charged at Dinkheller and shot at him. By the end of this bloody ordeal, Brannon had been shot once in the stomach, while Dinkheller had been shot a total of 10 times. Dinkheller died on the scene and Brannon took off. Thanks to his plate number, he was arrested the next day, charged without incident, and sentenced to death. However, as of 2013, Brandon has still not been executed for his crimes. When he was questioned about why he killed the 22-year-old officer, he responded, I killed him because he let me. Number 7. Vatican Ghost 
a 19 year old college student took a trip to Europe and found some strange footage on his video camera after he got home and reviewed the memories of his trip. While visiting the Vatican, he had his video camera out to get a good shot of inside the St. Peter's Basilica. In a few frames of the shot, a bright orange or red figure can be seen hovering in the air. It seems like a human figure wearing a cloak or loose sheet, but it moves more mysteriously than that. In a later shot, the figure is still seen there, but in a much lower location, closer to the ground. The student claims that he did not see this in person, only later when he was going through the footage. Some people saw this as a sign of the presence of St. Peter, or even Jesus Christ himself, while others saw it as a darker and more evil presence. The truth is up for those who believe. Number 6. Kitchen Poltergeist The video of a very violent poltergeist was uploaded by user Mellowbird in 2011. He claims that this footage was taken from inside his severely haunted home. He would come home often to a kitchen totally destroyed. He set up the camera to see what was going on while he was away and he found something so chilling, most of us would pack up right away, but instead he stuck around to investigate, and now has a very popular channel, with a huge chunk dedicated to his haunted home. You've got to be pretty brave to stay in a home filled with violent and angry spirits that are strong enough to throw furniture, but he has done it for his viewers to be entertained and more informed. This particular footage is a great example of just how strong and terrifying this haunting is. In fact, many of his viewers claim that the thing haunting his home is not a ghost at all, but a very powerful demon. Number 5. St. Louis Dormitory Ghost This is the type of ghost footage that could very well be fake, but that you still shouldn't watch alone at night in your room, staring at your lit computer screen as you fall through pages of YouTube videos. But being the channel we are, we're providing you with this anyways. The original video, uploaded in 2006, claims that this was taken by a camera left unintended in the dormitory. You are left staring into the dark distance wondering what will pop into sight at any moment. A female figure seems to focus into the shot. It stands there, probably staring you down, or so you feel. Eventually the figure disappears. Real ghost or not, it's amazing what cameras can catch sometimes, and it's even more amazing how they can make you feel. Number 4 attacked in her own home. In Milburn, New Jersey, sometime in 2013, a father leaves for work and tells his family goodbye. The mother is left to watch a toddler and infant. As she sits down to watch TV, her day is being observed on a nanny cam. Little does she know, this nanny cam will later aid in catching the man that breaks into her home and brutally beats her. You can hear the back door being broken down before a large man rushes into the room and immediately attacks the mother. He hits her several times in the face and she nearly passes out on the living room floor as the man runs up the stairs. Just as the mom gains enough strength to get up, the man returns and kicks her in the face and continues to beat her. Before he leaves the house, he drags the mother and throws her down the basement stairs. Eventually, she musters the strength to get up again and leave the basement. She comforts her daughter, checks on her baby, and calls the police. This attacker was found later and charged with attempted murder, robbery, and endangerment to a child. The mother suffered a concussion and explains that she didn't scream throughout most of the attack because she didn't want to scare her daughter anymore or make her daughter scream, which could have led to her being attacked as well. Number 3. Jacksonville Clowns in late 2014, there was a strange trend of people dressing as clowns and walking around small towns in California. They'd walk around at night and be spotted, or they'd actually pose for a camera, or in this case they'd be caught on home surveillance cameras. The victims of these visits claim it's probably just some neighbors having fun. However, the footage of clowns staring up at a camera from your porch or tearing apart a pumpkin while glaring up with their clown face is still unsettling. If you are afraid of clowns, you'd probably consider moving, because this is seriously creepy. The clowns never harmed anyone and didn't destroy any property aside from the pumpkin. That won't change how truly terrifying these clowns are though. Number 2. Alyssa Lamb the Alyssa Lamb story has been popular since the day it occurred, and there's a lot of lore, creepypasta, and conspiracy theories out there that try to explain this strange event. Alyssa Lamb was a young college student that went missing and took the internet by storm. Police released footage of her in an elevator at the Cecil Hotel where she was staying, as it was the last time she was seen, and they thought it might aid in her being found. The video is strange. She goes in and out of the elevator, presses multiple buttons for what seems like no reason, talks and gestures as if there is someone in the hallway, and even hides herself in the back of the elevator out of view. As she is doing this, the elevator also begins to malfunction, either from her behavior or something else. 
As soon as the video hit the internet, people began their speculations, as it is strangely unsettling. Not long after the release of this footage, guests at the hotel began making complaints about the water supply. When the staff checked the water tank above the downtown LA hotel, they found her body floating naked. Her clothes and belongings were floating with her, but not on her. An autopsy was delayed several times, but eventually came back with the label of an accidental death. No foul play. From her behavior in the elevator, possible elements of the footage being tampered with, how she got into the tank at all, why the search dogs didn't pick up the scent from the roof, all the way to issues with the autopsy, Alyssa Lamb's death has been a marveling modern mystery. There seems to be no explanation to these concerning questions. And though time goes on, there seems to be no further breakthroughs in this case. Alyssa Lamb's life and death has been the inspiration for many TV shows and movies in the past two years and in years to come. Number 1. Nightcrawlers This footage is actually so weird and scary it's a little nauseating, especially if you're easily spooked. This is from a resident in Fresno, California who noticed what are known as nightcrawlers in their front yard. They basically look like a head that goes straight into legs and is covered in a sheet. They walk very slowly and with wide steps. They're also apparently very tall. This footage is very disturbing with no context, so have a look. Got an idea for a top 15 video? Be sure to submit it at top15s.net slash submit. Be sure to subscribe for future videos. Thanks for watching.